You are going to pass your statistician interview if you watch this video and use my guide guaranteed. Statistician style interview question number one is tell me about yourself. Thank you for this opportunity. I am a highly analytical and detail oriented statistician with a strong background in data analysis, statistical modeling and problem solving. I have a passion for transforming complex data into actionable insights that drive informed decision making. In my previous roles, I have worked with large data sets, developed predictive models and conducted deep statistical analysis to support business strategies. I am proficient in programming languages like Python and R, as well as tools such as SQL and Tableau, allowing me to extract meaningful trends and communicate findings effectively. I thrive in fast paced environments where I can apply my expertise to optimize processes, improve efficiency and contribute to data driven success. I am excited about this opportunity because it aligns perfectly with my skills and I look forward to bringing my precision, problem solving mindset and statistical expertise to your team. Hello and welcome. That was a top scoring answer to introduce yourself in a statistician interview. Now, let's move on to the next essential question you should be preparing for. Question number two, why do you want to be a statistician? Now, why is this question being asked? Well, it's being asked because the interviewer wants to understand your motivation and passion for statistics. They are assessing whether you have a genuine interest in the field and whether your career goals align with the job. Therefore, in your answer, make sure you show enthusiasm for data-driven decision-making, highlight your problem-solving mindset, and explain how statistics add value to real-world scenarios. That's very important, and I'll show you exactly how you can do that in just a second. Make sure, though, you also keep it professional, but let your passion for analytics and continuous learning come through in your answer. So here is a brilliant top scoring answer doing just that to help you. Why do you want to be a statistician? I want to be a statistician because I am passionate about analyzing data, uncovering patterns and using statistical insights to drive smart decision making. Numbers tell a story and I thrive on the challenge of transforming complex data sets into clear actionable information that solves real world problems. I enjoy working with statistical models, predictive analytics, and data visualization tools to identify trends and support strategic decisions. The role of a statistician is essential in today's data-driven world, and I am motivated by the opportunity to contribute to evidence-based solutions in areas such as business, healthcare, or public policy. What excites me most is the combination of problem solving, critical thinking and continuous learning in this field. I take pride in my ability to interpret data accurately, communicate insights effectively and help organisations make informed choices that lead to measurable improvements. Again, this is another brilliant answer. Hello and welcome. I am Joshua Brown from howtobecome.com, a leading interview training company that has helped millions of candidates worldwide to prepare for their job interviews. And in this video, I'm going to help you succeed in your statistician interview. Oh, and don't forget, if you need any further help, tips or advice, just let me know in the comments below where I'll get back to you. Okay, question number three for your statistician interview. How do you handle missing data when analyzing data sets? Now this question is being asked because the interviewer is testing your technical expertise and problem solving skills in statistical analysis. They want to see if you understand different strategies for handling missing data and how you ensure the integrity of your analysis. Therefore, make sure you demonstrate a structured approach, mentioning assessment of missing data and outline techniques such as deletion, imputation or predictive modeling. Show awareness of best practices and the importance of transparency in reporting methods in your answer. Here is a fantastic top scoring answer to help you. How do you handle missing data when analyzing data sets? Handling missing data effectively is crucial to ensuring accuracy and reliability in statistical analysis. My approach 
depend on the nature and extent of the missing data. First, I assess the pattern and impact of the missing values, whether they are random or systematic. If the missing data is minimal, I might use listwise or pairwise deletion to maintain data integrity. However, for larger gaps, I apply imputation techniques such as mean, median or mode substitution or more advanced methods like multiple imputation or regression-based predictions to preserve statistical validity. When working with machine learning models, I consider using algorithms that handle missing data natively or apply k-nearest neighbors imputation for more accurate estimations. Throughout, I ensure transparency by documenting my approach and validating results so stakeholders can trust the integrity of the final analysis. Now, don't go anywhere as I still have more statistical interview questions and brilliant answers to give you in this video. But when you're ready and only if you want to, you can click that link in the top right hand corner or in the pinned comment below the video at any point during this trading. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my top 25 statistician interview questions and answers to give you the edge in your interview. Okay, question number four. Why did you choose to apply to our company? Now, this question is being asked because the interviewer wants to see if you've done your research and that if your values and skills align with the company's mission, culture, and goals. That's very important. They also want to gauge your genuine interest in working for them. So make sure in your answer, you mention specific aspects of the company's work their industry leadership or culture that attracted you and then link your skills and your experience to their needs, showing how you can add value and contribute to their data-driven success. Make sure you link your skills. That's so important and a brilliant way to score highly. Here is a fantastic top scoring answer doing just that. Why did you choose to apply to our company? I applied to your company because I'm excited about the opportunity to apply my statistical expertise in a forward-thinking environment that values data-driven decision-making. Your organization's reputation for innovation, analytical excellence, and real-world impact aligns perfectly with my skills and career goals. I was particularly drawn to your company's commitment to leveraging data for strategic improvements, whether that's through advanced analytics, predictive modeling or process optimization, I see a clear opportunity to contribute by transforming complex data sets into actual insights that drive success. Beyond the technical aspects, I appreciate your company's collaborative culture and emphasis on professional growth. I am eager to work with a team of like-minded professionals, tackle challenging statistical problems and play a key role in enhancing data-driven strategies that make a measurable difference. So what I've done now to help you pass your statistician interview is compile a list of the most common questions that you must prepare strong answers to, such as, can you explain the difference between observational and experimental data? How do you approach explaining complex statistical concepts to non-technical stakeholders? Discuss a time when you identified a significant trend or pattern in data that influenced a business decision? How do you ensure the accuracy and integrity of your data analysis? What is your experience when designing experiments and collecting data? How do you handle tight deadlines when tasked with complex data analysis projects? What is your biggest weakness? What are your strengths? How do you approach validating a statistical model you've developed? So those are just some of the key questions that you should be preparing for. But if you want the full list of the top 25 statistician interview questions, plus brilliant example answers to help you pass at your first attempt, click the link in the top right hand corner or in the pinned comment below for two reasons. Firstly, this will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you'll get all the answers we've covered in this video today, plus a total of 25 expertly crafted responses to the most commonly asked statistician interview questions. Secondly, and as a bonus, I've also included three smart questions that you should ask at the end of your interview on that page to make a lasting impression. It's a powerful resource designed to put you ahead of the competition, so make sure you check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm on a mission 
to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Also hit that like button if you found this useful, it really helps to motivate me to create more videos like this for you. If you have any questions about this role or any other job interview, drop them in the comments below. I reply to all comments with tips and advice. And finally, connect with me on LinkedIn. The link is in the description. I'd love to connect with like-minded professionals like yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best in your interview. Have a brilliant day.